So one of the first things that Ricky said to me when he started working here was, why don't you do more travel videos? And the answer that I gave him was, I don't really travel a whole lot, but that's not entirely true. I went to Blade Show recently. I also just got back from two different vacations. So I figured, why don't I make a video about travel gear? So here we go. This is 10 things I can't travel without. And with that said, let's do the damn thing. And let's start with the bag that I pack all of my clothes in when I go. Typically, I've been using duffels for, I don't know, as long as I can remember. Every time I buy luggage, my wife steals it. So I end up using duffels because she doesn't want a bag that doesn't have wheels. So I get all the duffels. Uh, and now, since we're on the subject, this is a really, really sweet, sweet duffel bag that I'm excited to show to you guys. Because look at this, we had to change the label on this after the others will be stitched. This one is a little quick remedy, but this says best MEDC on it. This is heat straps. You guys may remember the waxed canvas jacket I was wearing a while back. My buddy Carl Morawski collaborated with heat straps to make the workhorse jacket because he couldn't find the jacket that he wanted, the perfect jacket. This is not exactly like that collaboration because this is the duffel that heat straps uh, Tyler and Jordan came up with on their own, but this one is my colorway and it's limited to hundred units. They're available now as of the time of this video for pre-order. They'll be shipping in like, I don't know, eight, six to eight weeks, I believe is what they said. Uh, but yeah, this is the journeyman duffel bag, a weekender from heat straps. So if you know anything about heat straps, you know, this thing is wildly overbuilt. It has eight ounce, nine ounce leather. This is Buck Brown from Wicket and Craig harness leather. This is some heavy duty stuff, all brass hardware, and it's all really heavy duty. And the, the canvas on this wax canvas, it's 18 and 10 ounce wax canvas. This thing is a beast of a bag. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown and then we'll, we'll move on. So we have two dump pockets on the outside. I love this strap that they've added for this buckle. It makes it really easy to buckle and unbuckle. I just use that to dump whatever I don't want in my pockets or hands. It's really easy and accessible. There is on the back side, on the outside, a passport pocket. Just a more slim pocket that's for something like a field notes or a passport. And then this is a strap for your luggage so you can actually put the, the handle of your luggage through here if you wanna carry it that way. So this is very similar to a lot of Weekender duffels, um, at least in style that you've seen before. But what they've really done is added a lot more there in the outside pockets and on the inside. This is probably my favorite thing about this duffel. This is a boot compartment that is separated on the inside. I have my shoes still left over from my vacation, but you, I put two pairs of shoes in here. It can also hold a pair of boots pretty easily. That is amazing. It's the best feature of this bag for sure. But let's open it up real quick. And once we get on the inside, you'll see, so this is that boot pocket pocket. It is completely separated. So your stuff's not gonna, like your shoes are not gonna get your clothes dirty. Um, it will be kind of tough to show all of this, but there is inside a padded pocket, which is big enough for a 15 inch laptop. So you can put your laptop in your duffel bag and it's still padded. You've got additional pockets on either side of that. There is a clasp to keep it secure. I don't know personally if these are meant to be pockets, but they could definitely be used that way. But you've got at the very least three pockets inside, three pockets outside, and then the major compartment and then your boot compartment. So with lots of organization in this duffel, which I really like a lot of duffels like this, are just one big compartment and they might have one pocket on the outside or something. This is extreme organization and this is meant to be a weekender, like a two, three day trip. I took this on my week long vacation with the family. I took this and one other bag and was totally fine. So it's got a lot of space, a whole lot of space. This thing gets really big, um, but it's also meant to be compatible with like carry on dimensions and it's soft. So it could fit a little easier in, you know, when they check your size of your carry on being that it is soft material, not hard luggage, it should be able to fit pretty easily. So there you go. This is the journeyman duffel that I'm collaborating with uh, heat straps on. They're available now. We'll ship in six to eight weeks. They're up for pre-order and they are 474.99. So $475. That's no small ask, but this thing is probably going to outlive me. It's a bag that I can probably hand down to my son or my daughter after I'm gone or when I'm done with it, uh, which is 
kind of what heat straps is is going for their stuff is built like ridiculously overbuilt so there you go journeyman duffel this is now my forever travel bag i love this thing so number two on this list is dop kit and i'm using that as a general item because i never leave home without it whether i'm going to be gone for one night or a month i'm always going to bring a dop kit full of essentials I'm not going to talk about all those essentials for you guys because there's like hair care products and stuff that you guys aren't going to care about. But for me, this has been the dop kit I've used for a long time. It's called the Mini Bomber. There was a company, I don't remember what their company name was, but they sent me this tiny little knife called the Bomber B52 or something. They sent a duffel and this thing, and it's been trusty for like seven plus years, but you can see it's starting to kind of come apart and it's okay. It wasn't great. It was just fine. It did its job. It's, it's a dop kit. So the point is that I don't necessarily have a great recommendation for a dop kit. And I want to turn to you guys for your recommendations. Um, I, I love dop kits. I, I should probably just go ahead and buy like a leather one from my buddy Joe, but I got this one in the mail, I think Monday and I switched everything over to it. I'm going to throw it down in my gym bag. Cause I, I also bring this in my gym bag. This is with me three out of seven days every week. Um, this one's from Flowfold. All I know from them is, or about them, is that they're from Maine. They make stuff here, and it's all made out of recycled plastic bottles, which is pretty cool. Um, but it's really not any different than that Bomber one. It's waterproof, spill, it said spill protection on the inside, but I guess that's if stuff spills, it doesn't get out. But there's no pockets at all. It's just one big thing. And then this was another item that came with this. This is called the Aviator. And then I could not find this item on their website, but it was sent as a three pack. So maybe this is meant to go in here. I've used this one in the past. This is the Step 22 Hedgehog. I want to love this thing. I was talking about it with Ricky earlier. I want to love this thing because this is exactly like their Pangolin tool roll, but it's a dop kit. It's really sweet in theory, but in practice, once you start putting just a couple of things in here, it gets so full, it barely fits in this bottom pocket. So if I, I fill this thing up like 50%, it's still bigger than this when this is packed to the brim. So I really like the idea, but just like the, the Pangolin tool roll, I've moved away from it because I found something better. I did want to talk about two things inside the dop kit that are bonuses. They always go with me. First is the Chicago Comb Company number six. This is a carbon fiber comb. It was originally sent to me by Urban EDC Supply a long time ago. It's just a comb, right? But it's really, really sick. I don't know how to convey that. Like, it's just a comb, but it's still very cool. Not just because it's carbon fiber, like that's a cool factor, but like doesn't grab your hair. It's very smooth. The tines are very strong. I always have one. They're like 13 bucks, not that expensive. The other thing is also pretty affordable. This is Nitro Musk from Musk and Hustle, number 24. I've talked about it before. Haven't talked about it in a long time. This is my roll-on cologne of choice. It's so good. I've refilled this bottle like five times but number 24 from Musk and Hustle. Number three, this one's gonna be a little odd for some of you, but it's something I picked up on from backpacking. Um, I have two different stuff sacks here. One is just a Sea to Summit dry bag. This one is a snug pack with a, a vent. So I use these when I'm traveling. If I'm going with like my family, I bring this big one. This is a 40 liter stuff sack. This one is, I believe, 20 liters. But the point is, uh, I, I carry this in my gym bag, but it also goes with me when I'm traveling, but I put my dirty clothes in it. So when I go work out, I get sweaty. I don't wanna throw sweaty clothes down in my gym bag with some other stuff like my shoes or my dop kit. So I throw my dirty clothes inside this and they stay wet inside this, but all my other stuff doesn't get wet and sweaty. So it's just a barrier to keep all your stuff from getting wet or dirty soiled clothes, whatever it may be, you can throw it in here, just keeps it separated. It's awesome. These are 20, $30 at like Academy, REI, wherever. They're kind of expensive for what they are, but they're great. This one, I don't even remember what I paid for it, but 40 liter dry bag is not small. It's enormous, <laughs> but it holds all of your soiled clothes and keeps them separated. Dry bag, stuff sack, whatever. It goes with me as like a dirty laundry compartment container, whatever. So I also don't ever travel without some form of backpack. I'll bring the duffel that carries all my clothes and toiletries, my shoes, and then all of my tech and everything else goes in this. Knives, whatever I'm bringing that isn't clothes and toiletries goes in a backpack. Um, this right here has actually been my EDC bag for a long time. I've switched back and forth between this and another Vertex bag. So the other one is the Gamut backpack and I really like that bag too, but it's almost too big. In fact, it's right here. It's considerably larger. So uh, I tend to fill this with too much and it gets really heavy and over encumbered. So I tend to come back to this one to uh, kind of lighten the load, but as Ricky knows, this thing still stays really heavy. It just does. 
This bag is probably 40 pounds on average, but this one is the Vertex Ready Pack and it's a good day pack and it's a good middle ground, I guess is the best way to put that. But as a kind of an aside, if I'm not gonna be needing a bag like this, I also bring this along. So this is the other day pack. Uh, you guys are familiar with this by now. This is the Carry Commission Collaboration Blue Ridge Overland Gear Bum Bag in OD Green and Coyote. You guys know about this thing. I've already talked about it. If you wanna see what I carry in here on the reg, I made a video about that recently, so go check that out. I don't need to spend too much time on this. And yes, to answer your questions, they're gonna be restocked. We always restock them as fast as we can. I don't need to spend too much time on this either. This travels with me now. I have fallen in love with this thing basically over the last two or three months. Um, I've had it for much longer than that, but this is a Steam Deck. I play video games on this, if you don't know what it is. This is basically a PC. I have this loaded up with a ton of video games. The reason I love this thing is it's like the future. Uh, we used to have Game Boys and you'd have to carry all your cartridges with you. Uh, so this is that, but way cooler. It's like a PSP that should have been, but now we're here, we've arrived. This thing is awesome. Ricky's been playing my wife's uh, over the last couple of days. He, he won't put it down. He said, I can't buy one because I can't put it down. Um, it's so much fun. So now when I travel, this always goes with me. It is kind of bulky, but it's worth it. It's worth the space and weight. The next thing I have to travel with is AirPods Max. If I'm flying, for obvious reasons, noise canceling. If I'm not, I need some really good over-the-ear headphones for playing video games. I can block out the kids and my wife and everybody and just enjoy my time playing video games. Uh, no, it's it's obvious reasons. Um, whether I'm editing, whether I am playing video games, it's great to have headphones. Apple AirPods Max are expensive, but they are really, really good. They're the best over-the-ear headphones I've ever had for a number of reasons. Um, I won't get into that, but they always go with me. They're bulky also, but again, worth it. Number seven, iPad Pro. Ricky asked, do you always take your iPad even though you take your laptop? I do almost always bring my MacBook, but I, tend to bring this as well or in lieu of a MacBook. You can do pretty much everything from these now. Um, I've actually edited videos that have gone up on this channel specifically from an iPad. They are extremely powerful. The vertical integration with Apple hardware and software is amazing. So uh, this goes with me. It's an entertainment tool. It is also kind of a secondary work tool as entertainment and work. I can read on it. I can do whatever I need to do, stay in communication. It goes with me and it is probably dead right now. It is. Number eight, I need something to power all of that, and I don't like bringing multiple chargers, so I have this. This is the Hyperjuice G-A-N. I don't really know what that acronym stands for. It's capital G, lowercase a, N. It's really good. It charges 100 watts out of USB-C, which means it will charge my MacBook, so I can leave that MacBook charger at home, and I can use this one brick for everything. But this thing charges ultra fast. I like it. The only problem is that there's no way to like extend it. So if you get to a place uh, like this past vacation where you plug it in and it falls out of the wall, there's not really an option for that. If you have a MacBook charger, you can use that extension cord that comes with it or now that you have to buy it separately, but this you can't. So it does get kind of annoying. You have to get creative with how to like make this thing stick to the wall. But yeah, this thing is my favorite charger. I bought it on Kickstarter and uh, it's been in my bag every single day ever since. It's awesome. All right, most of you guys know me by now, which means that you know I can't leave the office without like 20 knives in tow. Uh, it's pretty similar when I travel. I try my best to not take all of the knives ever, um, but I I took them most recently in this. I've always got some form of travel knife storage. This is what I'm using right now, and I really like it a lot. So this is an unreleased collaboration between Carry Commission and Redeemed Creations. This is the collector's folio and it's really sweet so you got this nice brown leather on the outside and on the inside you have wax canvas and six pockets with two flat pockets underneath so you could put in these back pockets like a field notes notebook or something to that effect uh and then or, or watch traps if you want and then in these you can put your edc gear i choose to put knives and like a watch tool and then watches so i have two watches i have two knives in this pocket two knives here so six knives total. It's just a great way to bring knives with you, keep them protected and especially watches as well and keep it all in this nice little folio. I think these are 125 on Redeem's website, uh, but they're really, really cool, really sick. It looks nice and it patinas so fast. And these little flaps can help keep your stuff from getting scratched up or at least help a little bit. I don't really care about scratches, so I don't really put too much time into making sure they're there. But yeah, the folio is how I'm traveling with my stuff right now. It may change, it may not, I don't know. So far, I really like this thing and we are gonna be selling them on Carry Commission in the relative near future. 
there. Uh, the last item that I always bring with me when I'm traveling is a water bottle, and I think everybody should. Um, right now, I have this Vargo Para bottle. It's a titanium bottle. It's way overpriced. It's uh, $165, I believe. Not worth it. I mean, if you like titanium like me, sure. And you want to spend the money, sure, buy it. But the point is not this bottle, it's a bottle, a Nalgene or a Hydro Flask or whatever. But when you're traveling through an airport, I don't want to buy a bottle of water for six, seven dollars. So I bring an empty bottle, fill it up as soon as you go through the gate or security and you have water. Uh, it's just smart to always bring a bottle. I always do. So I never travel without some form of bottle like this, be it this overpriced titanium one or an Algene or whatever. All right, that's it. That's the 10 asterisk things that I can't travel without. Um, let me know what things you can't travel without in the comments down below. Also, let me know if you've got a really great dop kit suggestion because I just don't know. Um, I've looked and not found anything that just stands out to me. So let me know in the comments down below. That's it. I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, carry on.